and we're back. So, having tracked the probable course of the murders and missing bodies in the Umar Hills to this seemingly haunted forest, of course. we're now here checking out what is going on in this sort of area. Because the smartest thing to do when you find out that the creatures responsible for slaughtering people and dragging their bodies away for something is, of course, to go off and... Something is wrong here! Uh, well, uh, how should I put this? Investigate it with your small group, rather than getting reinforcements. Because, yeah, that's just the smartest thing to do. You will not steal my vengeance! I'm sorry, what? What was that? What the actual fuck was that? I would love to know. Well, I have no idea what that whole thing was about. So, we're going to poke around this forest a little bit. Because clearly the stupid thing is the right thing. But this exploration is likely to not be all that interesting, so I'm gonna probably cut it out. See you when I'm done. Okay, so I finished up exploring this area and there wasn't really anything of interest. There was this mirror and a piece of gl and some gem over in this area, but all it did was summon more enemies. And there's apparently a dungeon over there, I might check it out at some later date, but for now... This place we're sitting right in front of is literally called Wolf Cave. And able. So that strikes me as the place we want to go next, just based on the name alone. So in we go. Also, Yoshimo's a little bit beat up. So, Anaman, please heal Yoshimo. So we don't have to waste our valuable healing potions on that. And that was some fucking useless healing, because you can't full yes. heal him or anything. Whatever I can do to help. And there are a load of dead people around. Lovely. Take those. And it would appear I was completely and utterly wrong about this. Because this cave is basically empty and it turns out we actually wanted to go into that dungeon that I thought wasn't going to be it because of the fact this was called a wolf cave. Shows what I know, I guess. Alright, I would in. dream of refusing. Let's go on forward. And on this occasion, I think I'm not going to open the door that contains the massive doom skeletons of doominess. We'll just bypass them and go on forward if we can. Oh, yes. Or we will end up not having a choice in whether we go past them or not. That's lovely. Toby, can you strike from the shadows? Yeah. Turn invisible. Run away like a little bitch. 
the rest of the party can just kind of hold them in the doorway. That way, we can restrain these folks to just one at a time, man. Speaking of which... Equip your plus one arrows, Nalia, and back the fuck off. Every hamster has his day. Armored, sharp, and raring to go. Also, back off even more, and you can just do nothing. Yeah, I think we want you to run away. The rest of you keep doing your job. And now, you not attack the skeleton warrior. No, yeah. Time to do a little bit of magic, I think. Come on. Yes, we got him. We got him. But that was not the easiest of battles, unfortunately. We seem to have three of our party members on the brink of death, which is not particularly good. And what do you know? There's another skeletonator. So Nalia... Nalia, how about a lightning bolt? No, Nalia, lightning bolt does not mean move up to point blank range. Also, Toby Potion. Thank you. Well, that could have gone better. I mean, I... I could just leave that guy be, but that strikes me as something of a dumb idea, honestly. You point, I punch. Where Minsk goes, evil stands aside. Yes. Toby, of course. Minsk, what and Animan will have to handle this guy. Well. Mm -hmm. Toby can just walk I forward wouldn't dream a little of bit. We would like to bait him into a fight. Yes, indeed. That did not succeed at baiting him. Swords, not so you lot, get on it, please. And now Toby can run away because he's taken some hits and, you know, the whole main character death thing. Oh, there we go. They're dead now. They're dead now. Shadow Jailer, Shadow, Shadow, great. Shall not free the Master's Consort, mortal. I'm sorry, what the fuck are you talking about, is what I would like to know here. Those words that immediately spring to mind. Armored, live 
Now let's finish off the last shadow. And what is that? Just leather armor and a key, apparently. So I'll take the key. And the bones of some child prophetess we picked up a while ago. I have a feeling those are going to end up being important, but I don't exactly know yes. how. To the task at hand. Ho, oh, noble friends. I beg your assistance in this evil place. Well met, stranger. Who addresses me here? Your Grace. I am Mazzy Fenton, a valiant servant of justice and righteousness. As you can see, I could use your assistance. And how do we know that you speak the truth here? You could just be one of the shadows laying a trap. The shadows have the intelligence for such trickery. Their evil master is more direct. If that does not suffice, then I can only say that I have never broken my word. Well, I suppose that shall have to do for now. How did you come to be captured here? I am an adventurer. I led my party here to discover the source of the evil that had befallen the area, which became abundantly clear when it slaughtered my companions at the Shadow Altar. Yes, that would make there be evil here, yo, the obvious conclusion, wouldn't it? You have fought my jailers, the Shadows. Those unfortunate souls are the remnants of the victims whom have been perverted by the power of the Dark Fiend, the Shade Lord. The Shade Lord, you say? Why is this Shade Lord here, and what does it actually want? Besides mass murder, I mean. It is here to dominate and conquer. The Shade Lord seems to feed on the corruption of souls. If it is not stopped, it will continue to build its army of shadows. We are here to get rid of the Shade Lord. Well, we're actually here to stop the wolves, the wolves that are murdering the population of Umar Hills, but I think we can agree by now that they're basically the same thing. Why don't you tell us of your attempt? My companions and I were hired by Minister Lloyd of Imsvale to find the Ranger Morella, as well as look into the rash of killings that has plagued the area. What a coincidence. That's what we were hired for, too. We found Morella's journal, which mentioned the unholy darkening of this land. Local legends tell of how the Shade Lord was struck down by Amunator. A Munator, even, ages ago. We entered the temple ruins and found it infested with shadow magic. The shadow wolves here are from the wolf packs that roamed these hills mere weeks ago. Through tomes and other clues, my party learned of a perverted altar of a Munator, which can only be reached through the bowels of this place. We had to find sun gems so the doors of darkness that the Shade Lord had placed along our path could be opened. That can be acquired if one passes a Munator's tests. We searched for the three parts of the key to the door that leads to the horror that the Shade Lord commands. The Shade Lord commands a Shadow Dragon, a most deadly foe. We were struck down as he laughed. I am unsure of how to defeat such a creature. Most horrible of all, the Shade Lord took the life force of my friends and turned them to members of his cursed army. My beloved Patrick has become a hideous shadow. I would gladly have sold my life with my friends, but the Shade Lord would not let the dragon kill me. He wants me to become what he calls his consort. He is not a creature of this plane and must possess a body feeding on its life. 
He inhabits Marilla now, and plan to use my own body once Marilla grows weak, I suspect. I have come to believe that this altar which the Shadow Dragon guards is the secret of this place. A way must be found to pass this beast, for he cannot be killed by such as us. The Shade Lord and his altar must be destroyed. I am uninjured and ready to fight with you if you will have me. Let's see, how would Toby do this, be, approach this whole thing? Because the thing is, I'm fairly certain that she's going to be a party member if we accept this. And I personally don't want to change up the party right now because we have a configuration, so to speak, that works. And I don't want to change that. And I don't think Toby would just want to accept a complete stranger into the group. Yes, uh, it... Nothing against you, Mazzy, but you did fail against this guy once before, so... And I'm already quite accustomed to working with my current group. So it might be better if we faced it with just us, rather than trying to add you last minute. We will free you, however. As you will, in this area you will have to find a sun gem to pass one of the shadow doors. Be careful. Once you take it off the altar, its light will no longer protect you from the shadows. Thank you for your assistance. Did you ever need a brave companion? I reside in trade meet with my family. Ask for me at the tavern. I am well known. Fare thee well. Okay. Mm hmm. Well, uh, things just got a good deal more complicated around here. A shadow dragon. And this whole Shade Lord thing. This is. Well, uh, a mess is putting it lightly. I think. Yes, uh, calling this a mess is definitely putting it lightly, I think. And a good chunk of the group has taken some pretty bad injuries. Let's see. Tom Bellathan's journal, second half. You point! Stand back! For justice! Uh, Minsk, you get up here so I can give you some stuff and uh, therefore pick up some more things for myself. I'm sure all manner of there. stupid mousetraps await our toes in the dark. Second half. Half of a page of parchment. I'm gonna wait to read that until I find the first half, actually. If we do. If we end up going through this place without finding the first half, then I'll read it, but otherwise, I'm just gonna wait. That's a statue. Point the sword, and I. Now you two, uh, murder that thing, please. That's not right. There we go. And now. Toby can continue on 
now and explore a little bit. Yeah. Let's see what there is to see. And all that jazz. Or having our two party members that are as uninjured as is possible in this place deal with the attacking, I think. Now let's check in here and see what there is. A pillar and a shadow. Now go murder that shadow, please. Okay. Going well for us so far. Uh, shadows spawning all over again. Go murder its face, please, and totally run. That's the end of our shadow protection. Of course, it didn't really feel like Every we're getting much of that, but what do I know, right? What do I know? Run, yes. boy, run! Fuck. Okay. Nature's servant awaits. Yes. Of course. Well, we died doing that, so let's head over here first of all and see if that key I found will open this thing. It apparently will not. So I think for fighting these shadows, you point we want to be doing goes, it evil stands with aside. the entire group, and I'm just going to go right for that light, essentially. So my next order of business is going to be to rest and heal up a bit. And there we are, fully healed. Mm -hmm. I and wouldn't dream of refusing. We'll be going after... Th thing that we want with the whole group. Something neat. Ready and able. Well, the majority of the group. <laughs> Toby needs to loot for me. Mourn ritual. I'll look at that in a second. That mourn ritual. I don't know, but in a place like this, a ritual is probably fairly important. So let's check it out. It scrolls a tutorial for the morning prayer ritual of a follower of the sun god Amunator. 
I don't know why, but I always struggle with that word. Or name, rather. Know, my children, that when the holy rays strike the earth, and dawn flows across the land like music, thou must offer the morn ritual that is pleasing to mine eyes and ears. Malign the ritual at thy peril, perform it only as I have written. The first part of the ritual is smudged out, perhaps you could deduce the action if you had the scrolls for the noon and evening rituals. 2. Hold the holy tome up to the sun, and my power shall bless it. 3. Reflect as thou perceive the victory of light over dark. These are the things that please me. So, we need the other two rituals before we can work that out. For the needy! And the shadows. Look! They just love us, apparently. The shadows do. I'm not gonna grab that thing just yet because of obvious reasons. How can I help? Nalia, please. Ready and able. Now, kill, kill our way through these guys. Let's see if we can't find some of the other rich ones. Something you need. As you will. Take the test of the holy ritual? Not yet. Apparently I can't just pull whatever this is out of his eye. The wolf. But I'm not in combat game. God damn it. Uh, I hate it when it does that. Anyways, we picked up this thing that was half of a journal. Let's see if that maybe has what we need. No, basically just useless fluff text. Yes, of course. <sighs> Nothing else in there. And we already got the thing that was in there. Unless... That has nothing we care for in it, and we can't get past that until we pull out the light thing. Unfortunately, we don't have the 
information you need to be able to discern the other part of the ritual. want to do this just Am I needed? yet, but I could have Nalia pull that out. Something you okay. need. Okay. Let's read this thing on the ritual again. First part is smudged out, and we would need the noon and evening rituals to discern it. Hold the holy tome up so my power will bless it. Respect Reflect as thou perceive the victory of light over dark. Hmm, perhaps we could use Whatever that I can to try and, and figure out what it is that we're supposed to be doing. I don't know. This statue has that thing in its eye. So that might be kind of nice to be able to pull out, but I don't know that we can. What the heck, we'll give it a shot. Yes, I'm prepared. What is my first duty? Hmm, well if this is a religion based on like sun and glory and such, I shall recite the tenants. Oh. Ready and able. And getting it wrong causes this statue to blast lightning at me, or fire even. Wonderful. Just name what you want. Let's try again. I okay, S let's see. Sun. Light. Say a prayer to the light? I shall hold... And I know the other stuff because we read it in that tome. So it was just the first one I needed to get right. I shall hold high the holy book that the sun might bless it. I shall the ritual N. And... I shall reflect on the glory of the light as it conquers the dark. So ends the morning ritual. Return when thy faith is needed to face the final tests. What does that mean? What am I supposed to do? I'm confused. And look! Ghosts! Oh, light! Can it be? You come? Man bearing the bones of the child prophetess, Amuinel? Her defilement is at an end? Okay, how about you explain yourself? Who are you, and who's this Amunel whose bones you say I possess? I mean, Toby knows he picked up some old bones, but we don't really know whose they were. They were just some bones we picked up out of idle curiosity. Once long ago, this was a place of darkness and vile creatures that spilled into this world from the blackness. Amun Amunator invaded this place brought his light to it and drove away the shadows. The yellow gods set up temples here, and wards to keep the darkness forever at bay. Once they were priests who shouted his name to the heavens and kept the wards strong. But our Amunator has lost his power over the ages. The keeper of the sun is no longer worshipped as he once was, and the wards begin to began to weaken. Amuna was born to our people, a child prophetess, the child of light who would fight against the darkness that was once more beginning to spill into these lands. But it was too late. Too late. Amuna was overwhelmed by the Shade Lord. We could not protect her as he took her body and 
through her bones to his dark wolves. The bones of the child you have brought to us. Her defilement at the hands of the Shade Lord is now ended. Our duty is at an end. Please, Amuna, forgive us. Forgive our lapse and let us cross over at last. Aww. I feel kind of bad for those two. God damn it, Baldur's Gate. Why are you so good at just making me feel bad about just having a conversation with some random NPCs? Why are you so good at it? Why? But the ghost of that child prophetess wants a word with us, apparently. Okay. My bones have been retrieved from the jaws of the Shadow Wolves. I am grateful to you. Badon and Detset have been relieved of their duty and crossed over. I will join them soon. I pray that you are in this place to strike a blow against the darkness that has engulfed it. A darkness that I had not enough power to defeat when I was among the living. But I have some power. I have power enough to elude the attention of their guardians if necessary. And I can give you this. A ward stone. Carry it, and the dreaded Shadow Dragon will not notice your passing? Oh, wow. <laughs> that is amazing. We just got given what's effectively a Deus Ex Machina. <laughs> that is fucking amazing. We just... This was just some... Like, I'll get into this in a second. No, I can carry nothing else. You're right Do not attack the, the beast, or otherwise draw its attention, you shall be safe. Safe enough, at least. To stand against that foul shade lord that has spread his hand over my once glorious temple. I will go now to rejoin my keeper, the Eternal Sun. I owe my freedom to you and will always be thankful. Live, my friends. Live long and live well. May the light be forever victorious. Lots of experience. And... Let's see here. I'm going to drop that stone. These stones are generally not worth a whole lot, so... I'll drop that and take the wand back. There. But, wow, that is just amazing. Like, that was literally just us wandering in to some little side quest that, for all I know, might not have been directly connected to the main story. Mass of living shadow, you may not pass through it. Well, we have point, a way around I here. Where Minsk goes, yeah, it's just amazing. Stands aside. That, just some little side thing of... What uh, is it now? You found these Very bones, well. so... Uh, I find these bones, and then just sort of... Uh, just the fact that I poke my head into everything out of idle yes. curiosity, and... I wouldn't dream of refusing. Uh, just... I just love that about Swords, Baldur's Gate. My sword while you it, just your I idle curiosity up. and want to explore everything can give you so many more options. Nature like, servant if I had decided done. to explore that and see what is there to locate down there, then who knows? I might have had to find a way to literally kill that shadow dragon. Or maybe this is a railroady case in which th that is something you always have to do. I don't know, but I just find it so neat that something is seemingly as well. insignificant is just poking my head Nothing off I will do what I can. to go and check out what's in some side room and picking up a few bones that I found on an enemy what do you or need? in a chest can have such a big impact 
That's just so cool to me. And I just really love it. Wait a second. Yes. I just realized something. That name that I've been having such a troublesome time pronouncing. A Moonator, whatever it is. We have to walk on that name to get across. You point where means Problem goes, solved. Evil stands aside. Mm -hmm. But before I, I take everyone refusing. over, let's see what's actually over in this direction, I think. And we have a shadow over here. Wait, so these shadows can speak? They're not just mindless animals? Gotta admit, I wasn't expecting that. Merciful beings of light, I offer you a simple exchange. Information on what you seek in exchange for my freedom. Yeah, sounds fair to me. Thank you, you will not be disappointed. I shall ride within your shadow. Take me across the tiles and I will tell you what I know. And how do I know you won't just betray me at first? I don't think so. Tell me what you know first. Untrusting half-elf, there's a chapel next to these cells. I took a key from there and hid it in this cell. You'll need it to reach the master's lair. Now please take me across. Okay then. Toby is at this point sort of gritting his teeth and angrily grumbling, but he really doesn't see much of a choice here, so we're going to trust this shadow as much as we really don't want to. We're across. Fool, you think I would let you live? I would think you'd be smarter than that. But apparently, uh, I overestimated. Apparently, I overestimated these shadows' brains because uh, they aren't. Uh, they are apparently not intelligent enough to figure out. The fact that I've been cutting my way through them and all of their skeleton cronies. Basically since I got here, so it would be smarter to not do things like this. But we can't expect them to think through all their decisions, I suppose. How can I help? I will do okay, I Nalia, get over here so you can take some of this loot off of Toby. And so he can take the item over here that he's going to need. So that will be... Okay, first of all, we're going to ditch the bolts. Then you can have that and learn a bunch of spells here. Well, when I say a bunch, it's looking like it'll just be the one. Well, two actually. Now, Toby. No, that's for Toby to do, Nalia. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just as I thought. Take that lightstone symbol. I have no idea what it actually is, Am but... Am I needed? Glad to be of it assistance. It would appear that we're going to need it. Although, with the fact that the individual who told us 
then subsequently attempted to betray me because he thought he had a snowball's chance in hell Something you need. actually Onward succeeding then. at that apparently. I'm not so sure we should be trusting his word on this. Let's see what it is. A physical representation of a god's power it depicts a light stone and the rays destroy creatures of shadow one third of a cycle find the other two okay time to do this last one And that's the ritual done. Hence of ended, Amanutor in his glory offers thee this symbol. Use it in his brothers to form the symbol of Amanutor. The, roar, the ward required to open the door to Okay, there's that Swords, door open, not words, so where means we can move on now. Evil stands aside. But, Toby's taken a bit of a battering. Some of our recent fights, away. so... Jahira and Anaman can heal him up a little bit. Just so Toby's close to his full what health. What is it now? Because I imagine... This thing with the Shade Lord is probably going to be fairly tricky. <laughs> even, even if we do current something you need, we oh, have yes. a, a magic thingamadoodle that's going to let us bypass his magic dragon with no issues, even with that. Ready and able. Yes. Just as I thought. Okay, let's go. And here we are. Onward then. So we have our magic thingamadoodle, and he'll just ignore us. <laughs> this is just great. We have a dragon right there. But can just walk around him. No worries. This is just the best. Okay. Before I move on, I am going to rest just so everyone is at maximum strength for whatever we encounter up ahead. Now, that way goes back into the main parts of the dungeon. This one goes up to the surface with some enemies, so we're gonna take this one and see if maybe that leads us to the altar we're after. The Shadow Altar is apparently an enemy. We have Cheat Lord and Patrick. Mm -hmm. Of course! Minsk and so, boost jump on my sword while you can. can I won't be as gentle. I am ready. The altar can be put off for a time. Very well. How can I help? Everyone else, divide your forces and attack. Who intrudes upon me? More unlucky adventurers come to swell the ranks of my dark army. Huh. I don't know why, but this guy's voice vaguely reminds me of Irenicus's. I know it's not the same voice actor, I know that for sure, but they sound similar, and I don't know why. 
Anyways... I hate to rain on your parade, Mr. Shade Lord, but... I am actually here to kill you. Bravado, of course. Your kind grows tiresome and predictable, yet you may be of some use to me. I shall not be used by the likes of you. Oh, but you shall, mortal. This body that I inhabit grows tired. You shall make an excellent replacement. Come, my shades! Open the portal! This brash fool has some strength. Uh, how about no? Yes. And you folks now attack the altar. I think. Something you need. Great father! And right. we have finished Ready him off and nice and able. quick, so everyone attack the altar. And we apparently killed an altar. Not sure how that works, if I'm being perfectly honest, but I guess we'll just roll with it. I... I worry sometimes. Toby, do you worry of missing friends? Of missing... Of those missing or lost? Or worry of missing friends, rather. Of course you do. I don't know what prompted me to ask. No, I don't mind you asking, Jahira. Yes, I have to spare them the pain of loss that I have felt. I'm not sure why I brought it up. I just need to know that uh, the living and dead are still in my mind. They, go, they grow distant, but vengeance must still come. I'm becoming used to the aftermath of death, but I will not forget what must be avenged. There must be closure must do this even as I, as we, move on. <sighs> yes, I know this better than any other Chihira. Old wrongs will not simply be forgotten and swept under the rug. You need not worry about that. That is good to know. Those past beyond will be glad that we do not carry them as a burden, but that we do seek justice in their names. I don't brood all the time. I was just thinking of the past and what is to come. I'm trying to balance. Well enough whining for today. Let's move on. And here we are. Back in Umar Hills proper now. So, let's not spend any time just chatting around or anything. We're gonna head right into the minister's place and give him the good news. I think. Of course. After all, is there, is there something you need? What the trouble of purging his curse? So he would want to know about it. Well, I've spoken with the uh, with Madolf. They just want to live in peace and exchange. We'll have someone to protect us, and the merchants are looking forward to it too. Madolf wishes to come to town to purchase uh, supplies and things. That should be quite a sight. Thank you, Toby. I wouldn't have thought of negotiating with those creatures. This will be better for Imsvale all around. But I babble on, so my apologies. Was there aught you needed, Toby? Yes, there was, and you're not going to like it, I'm afraid. A Shade Lord was responsible for these deaths. It had possessed the body of Morella, your ranger, and I'm afraid she died once the shade was destroyed. Oh, this is most joyous news. It is sad that Morella is dead, but we are most grateful to you, my lord, for ridding us of this peril. As agreed, here's the armor of my ancestor ranger, and its leather, 
but I assure you it is most strongly bound with magic to make it as strong as plate mail. I'm not sure if the armor will be of any use to you. Uh, is it enough of a reward? I suppose I could offer you some amount of gold as well. Hmm. Would Toby want gold for his troubles? To be honest, I think he would, because we are most likely going to have to spend a lot of money on equipping ourselves properly. And even though we can technically afford to advance things and go rescue Imoi now, we don't want to because we are nowhere near properly equipped. So we need all the gold we can get for that sort of thing. I would gladly accept any gold you could offer, Mayor. Yes, yes, of course. I think this is all I can offer you, my lord. I hope uh, that is sufficient. A hundred gold. Honestly, if it wasn't for the ancestral armor, I think we'd be feeling a little bit ripped off and, quite frankly, insulted right now. But the armor does kind of soften the blow, rather. So, Toby won't be too offended. Just give the mayor a little bit of an... If that's really all you can give me. Kind of a snarky statement. My thanks to you again, my lord. It is a great relief to know that Imms Vale will now be safe. I will tell the townsfolk immediately. And another 20,000 experience. Something you need. I wouldn't... Uh, so, oh yes, you will have noticed during <laughs> recent events and things, we got a little bit of gold from Nalia's family home. Speaking of. We've stopped those murders, that's an issue that's been resolved. And at some point... We will of course want to go to... Treed Meat. And deal with this animal trouble. As well as that, we are going to want to. Where is. Is it on this bloody list? Yeah. At some point, we're going to want to take care of a bunch of whatever it is that quest that we had for that lord who wanted us to deal with whatever was attacking his land. But for now, I'm gonna put those off, and we really do want to get back to the. Uh, we really want to get back to Ascotla itself soon enough. However, I'm going to put that off. We're going to drop by Nalia's family home and just check how things are going there. We've not been in the area for a while, so... Just as I thought! I think it might be in our best interests to stop by and check up on them. We are, after all, technically their lord, or regent, if you want to get technical about it, but we do rule the keep. So, I think... That we really should check it out and just see if there's anything here that needs our attention. Onward then.
But before we do anything, we're going to need to level up because Toby, Jihira, Yoshimo, and Nalia have all leveled up. So let's deal with that. We have 25 more skill points. Toby's also gained an additional 1 hit point and 3 lore. We'll put pickpockets up to 60 and move silently to 85. So now we're a thief level 11 and fighter level 8. As I said before, for whatever reason, Toby games levels a lot faster as a thief than as a fighter. Maybe he needs less experience to level up in that class? I don't really know, because we are three levels higher as a thief than as a fighter right now. As you hear, I can also level up, and it's just more spell slots for her. One additional priest spell slot for levels 1, 3, and 6, respectively, and I think that'll be our first level 6 slot. I don't know, but I don't think we had any of those before. She also gained one additional hit point and one additional lore, so our hit point and lore rolls were not all that great. Yoshimo has leveled up. He gains 20 skill points, two additional hit points, and three lore, as well as a different we weapon proficiency. So, I'm just going to put all of these into move silently because if I'm being brutally honest while I like Yoshimo from a mechanical perspective he's not that useful as a party member because everything that he does in terms of traps and locks and stuff Toby can do better He's skilled in katana usage, apparently. I actually didn't know that. So, if we can find Yoshimo a katana, that would be useful. For now, though, I'm just going to give him another point in a single... Well, I was going to give him another point in single weapon style. But it doesn't appear we can do that. And... Apparently, we have to do it in something he's not skilled in already. I guess I'll give him a point in long source, just because that's what I have Yoshimo using right now. So we may as well get some skills in it. Now it's Nalia's turn. Okay, what did you get, Nalia? Death saving throw reduced by two. Wand saving throw reduced by two. Polymorph saving throw reduced by two. Breath weapon saving throw reduced by two. Spell saving throw reduced by two. She's gained one additional level three, four, and five spell, respectively. One additional hit point and three additional lore. So Nalia's going to be able to cast some more spells else for us. Very nice indeed. But for now, it's late and... We have been on quite the adventure uh, these past few days. The Umar Hills, our Umar Hills quest was one hell of a ride. And Toby and the gang need some rest. So, we'll rest up and then in the morning... The pace we have set is too much for me. I must rest. Yeah, so we'll get some rest and then... Tomorrow morning, we'll head back into Baldur's Gate and take care of some business there. Because we still have quite a bit left to do.